Good morning, guys. Today is the last and final day of Teen Folk Fashion University 2015. So today is our graduation day, and we're supposed to have like a keynote speaker, and I guess like get like a certificate stating that we completed all the seminars and stuff. So I'm ready to go, and I'm about to leave and take the train over there. So I'll see you guys inside. <laughs> Oh, sorry, you know. <laughs> I do like YouTube videos and oh it's Oscar the Lanta. I did not notice that. <laughs> One of my see. So let's see. First off, Michelle Fawn. Yeah. Fawn. Uh, unreal, right? I mean, amazing. And something that she said that really resonated with me, probably all of you, eight years ago, part-time job, full-time student, made some YouTube videos every couple weeks, and look where she is now. Amazing inspiration. Um, Kate Davidson Hudson, editorialist, amazing, content and commerce. Kristen Joy Watts, how do you really tell a story on Instagram? Don't you guys feel much better about that? Amazing. And then Elisa Licht of DKNY. Yeah. Yeah. She was, right? And then uh, I miss these two, fitness powerhouse and entrepreneur Hannah Bronfman. She was amazing. Super? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and this was the other one that I was so bummed because all I think about right now is Pitch Perfect 2, Mickey Rapkin. <laughs> and Dana Matthews is, um, I worship her because she knows everything and she doesn't always give it away to us in the hallways either. I'm like, who are you working on? Who are you working on? So um, I'm so glad you guys really got to do a behind the scenes look behind the cover. So we're really thrilled to share that little bit with you too. And you know what? There's, um, it's a cliche that you save the best for last, but I think we really are right now. Um, it's really our honor to um, to have Erica Behrman here with us and um, to tell you a little bit more and to get me off because I'm the least interesting part of this morning is our Teen Vogue Fashion Director, Marina LaRude. what all of these guys do at Team Vogue and Amy. Um, I just think it's really special. So you guys are lucky. And you're, you're sort of amazing for taking the initiative, you know, to be here. Because you don't have to be here. You could be out, you know, like hanging out with your friends or doing whatever, um, which is probably what I was doing when I was your age. But I just think it's it's awesome that, you know, you're, you're taking the initiative to be here. It says a lot. Sorry. Do you want to tell them a little bit about your background? How did you start in fashion? Um, just a little bit. Uh, what inspired you to introduce your here? Sure, yeah. So I guess, unlike all of you, um, I didn't know that I wanted to work in fashion. Um, it was something that I just sort of stumbled upon. Um, I'm from Long Island. Any girls from Long Island? Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! <laughs> <laughs> um, I grew up in a town called Stony Brook. Long Island, which is really pretty, like on the North Shore. Um, I went to college in Massachusetts. I went to Holy Cross, um, which is a fantastic liberal arts college. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I studied English, and I studied art history. Um, and I'm kind of glad that I didn't study fashion, because I feel like I've been studying fashion ever since I've been working. Um, so for me, it was really amazing to, you know, I sort of think back I did an interview recently for my college magazine, and I was sort of thinking back on my time in college, which is like not something you, you know, sort of reflect on often. 
And you know, my my education was was all books and paintings and you know great novels and poetry and all these things that I sort of that's like what I dream of doing now, like in my spare time, which I don't have much of. Um, but my education in college was sort of this amazing time to learn all these things that, you know, now you sort of can talk about at a cocktail party, um, which I think was really nice. Most of the young women who come work for me now, you know, have studied fashion, which is also cool. I mean, I'm sort of intrigued by, um, like, college studies and communications and fashion. I'm always sort of like, what are you guys learning, you know? Like, should I be taking those courses? Could I be teaching them? I have no idea um, what it's like. But, I don't know, maybe you'll fill me in. Um, so I, I didn't study fashion. When I came out of school, I thought that I, you know, I was, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. It, you guys have to remember, um, I'm a lot older than you are. So, you know, this was, I don't know, 12 years ago. And there was no social media. And, you know, the visibility that you have now to the entire industry and all the jobs that you can do in fashion is kind of, you know, amazing and didn't really exist when I was coming out of college. Like, you know, the only job I knew that you could do in fashion was to be a designer. You know, there were no publicists like me and Eliza and, you know, that people would know our name, anyone's name. Like, you didn't know who the people sort of behind the scenes in fashion were. Um, it was just a different time, you know, like now, now you can see any runway show in the world live as it's happening. I mean, that's like, I mean, I take it for granted too, but that's like a huge big thing, you know, like we didn't, I mean, you know, like I you're like my age, right? I was working at South Hall Home back in the day, and then I remember the first time that Paul Feel comfortable sharing about a time when um, you think you like failed or a challenge or something that you had to overcome and how you grew from it? I think that happens all the time. I mean, I think it happens every day. I mean, the one thing I try and like, this is an important thing. This is something you guys should remember. Like, whenever you're doing something and you think you're done with whatever task it is, I think it's important. I always say to myself, from this was like from when I was an assistant to now, like, did I do everything that I could do on that situation, whatever it was? Like, did I do that to the best of my ability? Did I like go the extra mile? And even if it was something stupid, like you know, finding a picture for my boss or whatever. Like, did I do everything that I could to do that to the best of my ability? Was there anything else that I could do that I would have done to do that better or make it better? And that's been helpful for me. I think I probably mess up all the time, you know? But it's like, it's every day is a learning process, you know? And I think you really have to look at it that way, you know? I mean, you have to, Sometimes the only way to figure it out is by doing it, you know, and by you can do it wrong, you know, and then, I mean, it happens all the time where I'm like, okay, well, next time when I do that, I'm not going to do whatever it was that I did the last time, you know. That's a hard question to answer. Does that make sense? Okay. Thank you, everyone. Guys, thank you, sir. So that's a wrap for Team Bill Fashion University 2015. So right now I'm in the elevator and I'm going to the lobby and I think I'm going to stop by the gift shop. So that pretty much finishes this vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me. I got some goodies and I can't wait to share it with you guys in a different video. So see you guys soon.